what should you do to be enlightened? Now once again, enlightenment is not an achievement. Enlightenment is not going to the peak. Enlightenment is a homecoming. You come back to your original nature. Right now, you have identified yourself with many things that you are not, isn't it? Now, uh, we were looking at this yesterday. What you call as my body is an accumulation that you slowly gathered, isn't it? When you were born, you were only so much, now you are so much, why? You gathered your body slowly, accumulation. What you call as your mind is accumulation. Everything that you know around you is accumulation, isn't it? That means you are deeply, deeply identified with things that you are not. A piece of earth you picked up and made body out of it, but that piece of earth you are so deeply identified, you believe it is you. Till you fall dead, you go on believing, believing this, isn't it? Isn't it so? So right now, you have gotten distorted vision. If you stop your distortions and come back to your, your original nature, that's the enlightenment. What do I have to do? There is really nothing to do. If you don't do anything, it will happen. But right now you have gotten into your mental state that there is no way you can do nothing. All the time you are out doing something. You think if you don't do anything, something will happen. Yes, it will happen. Something fantastic will happen. But you have not allowed yourself in that state for a moment. So, to bring you to that state where you can do nothing, we will have to make you do many things. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't sit in one place, isn't it? If you simply sit here and don't do anything, either with your body or with your mind or with your emotions, the reality of the existence will burst forth within you, nobody to stop it. It is just that you are constantly on, you have become such a slave of your mind, endlessly it's going on, you can't stop it, you can't hold it, you can't do anything about it. Because once you get into the trap of the mind, it just goes on endlessly, it has its own momentum, you don't have to do anything about it. One day if you rev it up and leave it, it can go on for many years, picking up more and more momentum. It doesn't need your assistance anymore. Isn't it so? Do you see this happening? People who are reasonably happy in the world are those people who got a little break from the nonsense in their head. That's all. They are not all the time like that. Some moments they are not so messed up. So they are okay. If you don't mess yourself up, if you simply be here, you are enlightened. But uh, you can't keep your hands off it all the time, it's on it. So slowly with yoga, you know all these postures, will tie your hands up in such a way <laughs> that you can't mess with it because you're in a posture. <laughs> Somehow. We'll do it to you somehow. <laughs> For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.